Hi, everyone, and here's our devotional for Tuesday, January 7th, 2020. And that's entitled, Revealed Through Prayer. Okay. (laughs) Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God and Christ Jesus concerning you. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17 and 18. How many times have you heard someone say, All I can do is pray. (laughs) All I can do is pray? You might as well say to a starving man, All I can do is offer you food. Or to a sick person, all I can do is give you medicine that will make you well. Or to a poor child, all I can do is buy the toy you most want for your birthday. Praying unlocks the doors of heaven and releases the power of God. James 4.2 says, Ye have not because ye ask not. And Jesus said, In all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. Matthew 21, 22. Many of us want to do a work for God, but few of us want to spend hours in prayer to God. It goes against our natural inclinations to pray, which is precisely why prayer counts so much with God. It is unnatural. It is, in fact, supernatural. And it always gets God's attention. I am sometimes amused when people tell me, God answered my prayer. What they mean is that God gave them what they asked for, but if he had not granted their request, he would still have answered their prayer. We forget that no and wait are also answers, as is yes. I have answered every request made by my children to me. The answer has not always been what they wanted, but it has always been in accordance with what I have thought was best for them at the time. God is the same way, except that his answers are always right and good and best, while mine may or may not have been. And remember, whether prayer changes our situation or not, one thing is certain, prayer will change us. Our Father and our God, thank you for the incredible blessings you have given me. I praise you for your great generosity and constant care. Please give me the heart to hear your answers to my prayers, even when the answer is, wait or no. Help me to accept your lordship of my life, knowing that you have only my greatest good in mind. Through Christ my Lord, amen. Woo, that's a loaded one. I'm kind of having that right now. There's something that I'm praying about, and there are pros and cons, you know, to both choices. But making this choice will really change the course of my life, but, and right now, God isn't giving me a yes or no. A yes or no answer would be easy, but he always gives me the wait answer, that four-letter word that I don't like. (laughs) I don't like waiting. I want the answer right now, but yeah, wait. So apparently I'm supposed to continue in the one thing and not change to the other um, until God gives me the, the leading to do so. Yeah, I mean, literally, 90% of the, the direction prayers that I have prayed, wait, or be still and know that I am God. Those are the answers I get. <laughs> and I don't like them, but that's, you know, how God works, and he wants us to wait on him, because he wants that, the relationship. You know, if he would, you know, just give us yes or no answers, then there wouldn't be the waiting on him and seeking him and, and, and trying to learn what he has for us. So, yeah, I'm getting a wait right now. So please keep me in prayer that I will do the right thing and that I will do what God wants me to do. Okay. Maybe by the time you're listening to this, maybe I will have gotten that answer, but I don't know yet. And anyway, may the Lord bless you all and be with you. Till tomorrow.